Uh, my name's Matthew. My name's Dominic. I'm Chris. And what have you been up to this year, Muse, from, from day one? From day one. Yeah. We've been doing... We got signed. I think that's the <laughs> first thing this year. We signed, uh, we signed in America at the end of last year, and then signed deals in England, France, Germany for this year, at the start of this year as well. And then we've just been touring. Tour the world, Chili Peppers, Pavement, and uh, yeah. Did an album as well. Did an album, which was nice. <laughs> Made our first yeah. album. And uh, uh, lots of things. Yeah, it's been a very busy year. Then um, toured with Feeder, toured with Three Guys Word, Skunk and Nancy. Done a video. Done a video. Played in, played in America a couple of times. Uh, that's good. We played at um, Glastonbury Festival. That was sort of a big moment to do all the festivals and stuff this year. Glastonbury and Reading. In short, it was better than last year. <laughs> <laughs> so um, worldwide, the fact that you've got four different deals around the world mm. is that. Was that sort of decision from the start that you wanted to make, or did it just turn out that way? Uh, well, the first thing we did was uh, we started our own record company with a guy who owned a studio down in Cornwall, because uh, that's where we first started recording demos. And um, and then we, because because we didn't think we wanted to sign to like some big record company at that point, we just wanted to release something on our own and just get our name spread a little bit. And um, and then from that we got interest from Maverick. That was like the first real strong interest. And because they're good in America, but they're not really good in England, we thought we asked them if it'd be okay just to like do it in North America. And uh, they agreed to that. So that's where it started. Because we had them just for North America, we had all this extra space, uh, which we thought we'd just gonna do on our own record label. But we ended up having uh, some offers from other people. So. Right. And have you actually met Madonna? No. <laughs> <laughs> Has she seen I don't know. We don't know. Don't know I think uh, she's uh, she's heard the she's heard the album and likes it. So mm. so we're here through ten people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's been the best bit of this year? From so obviously it's been a bit manic generally. Um, what's been the best gig or highlight personally? Uh, for you so some of the gigs in France have been the, have been the best. Mm. I think all the gigs in France have been the best gigs actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did uh, played with Chili Peppers in Paris and Bordeaux, and then did four dates of pavement just recently. And uh, like Chili Peppers played in this big place called Bercy, and there's like 17,000 people in there. It's just unbelievable. Yeah, it's um, quite a strange experience you know, playing in front of that many people. Um, and then we, uh, it's just the response we've had in, in, in like other places like Germany and stuff. It's really nice to like, because it's the same as it is in England, so it's nice to work all these places equally rather than sort of become known in one place and then go elsewhere and have to start again. It's sort of like we're just sort of travelling around pretty thinly spread. Do so you manage to pick up any? Hardcore fans along the way, any stalkers or anything? Um, did you find that letter? <laughs> <laughs> did you find that letter? I did. I've lost it again. <laughs> yeah, I've lost it again. yeah, we got um, a, we got a, got a letter the other day that was quite scary. Yeah, to say the least. Obsessive. What's the weirdest obsessive. thing fans have done so far? Yeah, I think yeah, suicide. I think was the strangest thing. Yeah. Really? No. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> the strangest thing. Uh, the strangest thing is probably. That letter. That, that, yeah, it's, yeah. It's just this person who's really strange and says that like, who she loves hates she hates us, but she loves the music. She loves and she like she, she hates the fact that we're attracting people who are into music because of for the wrong reasons and all this. And it's like she thinks that she's like, our first fan and no one else should be allowed to look at us <laughs> apart from her and stuff. Yeah, it's quite strange. So what do you do with people like that? Uh, well, to be honest, well, we, we, I was thinking of replying to her or not. I'm not sure if that'd be a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah. Not sure. <laughs> okay. Um, in terms of your music. Do you, do you get sick of all the Radiohead? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure we get sick of them. I don't know. You sort of it goes, goes over your head after a while. <laughs> I mean, it's like, um, no, no, there's yeah. other things. Follow you at all? I mean, no, 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 not really. I don't know. No, I, I think we asked for it. Do you know what I mean, we asked for it by choosing John Leckie to do our album, who did the Benz, and um, you so, working with him again. Probably well. I mean, I'd like to maybe at some point in the future, but I don't think I don't think I think the next time we'll, we'll try. I think we'll try and keep it different. In the, you know, I mean, maybe one day we'll work with him again, but uh, not for this next time. I don't think. I don't know. I'm not sure. You can see it going in Star Wars anyway in the next album. Um, all over the place. Yeah, I think it's. I don't know. I think it's going to be a cross between like a cross between like Tom Waits, Nick Cave, and Daft Punk, something like that. <laughs> some somewhere in between all that. So yeah, it'll be different. So you big fans of electronic music? No, not, not, <laughs> massive, not massive fans. Apex Twin, Apex <laughs> Twin, and mm. not not really, not really like computer generated music. I like, I like stuff to do like synthesizers and stuff like that. When when dance music was first invented in the eighties, I like some of that stuff. Jeremy, you know I, mean? I don't like some of the stuff that's around now. But. 
Duran Duran. <laughs> You'll disagree. <laughs> you I was trying to think of Pump up the volume. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, so, uh, Mars. <laughs> so, um, out of your peers at the moment and things in the chart now, what what sort of making you tick? Um, 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 stuff in the charts. I'm sure we I'm, sure I'm sure we had good answers for this other day. I don't know. God knows what's number one at the moment. No, no, no. What, what, what are you into at the moment? No, right. question. Rage Against the Machine. Yeah, the new album. Yeah. It's really uh, good. What I got? I've got, I'm getting into like older stuff for some reason. Don't know why. Captain. <laughs> Captain Beefheart. <laughs> yeah. yeah um. uh, new Primes album is fantastic as well. Um, Nina Simone. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Did you see a performance on that musical millennium thing? No, no. There was a big poll on Channel um, Channel 4 about musical millennium, she was on that, and she did. Um, what's, her, what's her big hit? Oh, I heard about this. Baby Just Cares For Me, and it was just dreadful. It's appalling, wasn't it? Yeah. Apparently, Kelly was telling me about it yesterday. Apparently, it's absolutely dreadful. Really? Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to see it. Get some to get the video. How old is she? She's a bit old now, isn't she? She's about 70 or something. She's about 70. Well, yeah, that's probably why. She's getting it coming anyway. So, when you go back to Devon, I mean, what's it like? Is it, has it changed at all for you? Um, it's weird going back. It's shit. It's a big change their opinions. And yeah, I met some you. cock in the pub the other night. Did you? Yeah, some old guy from college who I didn't really knew. Didn't really know him in college. Mm -hmm. He like thought he's my mate. It's just bad. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> going, I hope you remember me when you were rich and famous. It's just getting that oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> It's bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So I, I just don't go there anymore. I, just, I never really liked anyone down there anyway. So I'm sort of not really go there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I just I live down there in Exeter, so but it's all right. Yeah, it's good. We're not. We're never there, so it's fine. Really. Just yeah. go back there, relax, do nothing, sleep, and then go out on tour again. What's been the What's the place you've been to this year that you're most likely to go back to? Uh, you want to rush back to very quickly. Uh, probably. Uh, I know. Probably, I know France is probably the next place we're going to go to. In well, no, actually, we're going on tour again around Europe, aren't we? Mm. Um, but I think yeah, I think a favourite place has probably been outside of England has been Paris, maybe. Because right. we've had some mm. really nice gigs there. So I look forward to going back. Mm. And you got the live tour coming up. Yeah. So, um, did they choose you? Are they fans, or um, uh, did you approach them because you're fans of them? It's, uh, I don't know. It's, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I don't really know live. I, no, 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 I don't. Um, I know. I know the main reason why. Well, it's because their their tour goes across like Belgium, Holland, and Scandinavia, and they're areas where we've never played before. And uh, I think we wanted. We we're looking for a band who was touring in that area, and um, so we could get a couple more record deals. <laughs> 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 So I had it through. And then uh, <laughs> we've got like play it again Sam in Holland, which is on the way and then you know, Scandinavia, so but no yeah, you know, just spreading it around. It's good, they're playing like really big venues, they're massive in Europe, so because we just got signed in uh Netherlands, Benelux and around there, they're doing some massive like ten thousand capacity gigs there, so it's good for us to go over there and do that. Mm. And all the bands you've been touring with from well, since, since you started, has anyone you've become really friendly with and sort of you keep in contact with and you find them at home? Kind of I, I wouldn't say find them at home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, apart from Twist, maybe. <laughs> um, I don't know, I gave Dave Kroll a little call last night. <laughs> <laughs>